So Gennady Golovkin knocks out Marco Antonio Rubio in the second round. Nobody should really be surprised. Most people felt that Golovkin would just walk straight through Rubio and do what the hell he wanted. And that's pretty much what happened. To Rubio's credit, he did try and stand and trade with Golovkin. He did try and hold him off and meet fire with fire. But that was never going to end well. We all knew that. We all knew that Rubio has been knocked out before. He's been stopped. He's been dropped. And standing in front of a guy like Golovkin and trying to swing it out. Yes, you know, he could. He might have hit the jackpot if he'd landed a big shot. But so far, from what we've seen from Golovkin, no one's ever staggered him. No one's ever hurt him. No one's ever dropped him. And he has been hit clean. He hasn't been in there with any devastating knockout punches, but he has been hit clean plenty of times and no one's ever managed to bud, you know, budge him. The biggest puncher he was in with was probably Curtis Stevens off the top of my head, but correct me if I'm wrong. And he managed to take Stevens's punches, no problem. Apparently, Golovkin was never even dropped as an amateur and he had a shitload of amateur fights, like 300 amateur fights or something like that. So I think it's safe to assume Golovkin does have a good chin. And unless someone's gonna, unless someone's got some serious power, then they're going to have problems with this guy. They're going to have problems. Rubio, like I say, did try to stand and trade in the first round. He tried to meet fire with fire. Golovkin caught him at the end of the first. Rubio took the shot quite well. But in the second round, uh, Golovkin caught Rubio again, caught him with a right hand. Rubio went down. Uh, an uppercut first, I believe, then a right hand, uh, kind of, no, sorry, sorry, it was a left hook, a chopping left hook, Rubio went down, and Rubio didn't look that hurt to me, he looked like he still had his faculties about him when he was on the canvas, but he decided to stay down, you know, I mean, the shot obviously hurt him, but when Rubio got up, he wasn't wobbling around, he, he, he didn't look out of it, his eyes didn't look glazed, and he was actually complaining that, re that the referee stopped the fight because he felt that he'd beat the count, but whatever the case may be, he was never going to win the fight, so it doesn't really matter, he, you know, it's, it's not, it's neither here nor there really, basically. So yeah, it was a predictable performance by Golovkin, given the opposition. Uh, Rubio did manage to back Golovkin up in spots. I'm not really sure how significant that is. I'm not sure if any opponents can look at this fight and take anything from it, but it is what it is. How did you feel about this performance? Where do you see Golovkin going forward? Do you think Miguel Cotto or any of the middleweight top middleweights out there will fight him or do you think they're all just going to keep running scared and maybe the only challenge he's going to get is when he steps up to 168 super middleweight and takes on some of the guys up there uh rubio pff, who cares <laughs> you know what i mean that's just how i feel who cares where he goes for me I'm, i've never really been a fan of rubio but golovkin we'd like to see him in there with some big names hopefully it can happen next year drop your comments below let me know what you, how you felt about this fight and both these guys both these fighters this is hatman i'm out